What is up everyone? We're going to try something new and go through the best white cards in the new set so far in 5 minutes. Let's go. Alright, here we go. So the first card, Elspeth. Uh, this is a 4 mana Planeswalker. It seems pretty strong. Uh, it generates a lot of tokens. It has a really really good ult which will return everything from the graveyard 3 or less mana. And I think it's very worth building around, so you got to get a lot of cheap stuff in the graveyard and then bring it back. So very cool, good for aggro. Next one, Boonbringer Valkyrie. This is a 5 mana angel, basically like a Baneslayer angel, only you can give its ability to something else that's already on the battlefield. Very, very solid, could be really good in control as well. It's going to be played for sure. All right, next one, Dusk Legion Duelist. This is a two mana two two that whenever it gets a plus one plus one counter, it draws you a card. And uh, there's a lot of ways in standard with aggro to put counters on things. So you're gonna easily be picking up some cards off of this two three four must kill and a very strong card. All right, next one, Elish Norn. This is a four mana three five with vigilance. So a decent body has kind of like a obliterator type ability on it. Uh, where if it takes damage, then the opponent loses life. And then uh, you flip it, and you just get a massive, insane board advantage. So definitely worth to try to flip this thing. Uh, and then this is the backside. Gives you tokens. It buffs your team and destroys other people's permanents. So really, really good. All right, the next one, Invasion of Dominaria. This is a battle, three mana. And when it enters the battlefield, you gain four life and draw a card. So very close to the card uh, Replenish. Uh, it gives you a little bit more with life than replenish, which is nice, but uh, it is five to flip this over, which might be tricky. Uh, if you do flip it, you get this four four flying vigilant angel, which is not bad considering you just cast up replenish basically. So uh, might see some play, uh, but we'll have to see. It depends how important life gain is. All right, next one: invasion of Gabakon. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you basically pick a card in the opponent's hand and it costs two more to cast. So a tax effect. And it's very cheap to flip. When you do flip it, you get this anthem type effect, which puts plus one plus one counters on your attacking creatures. And you can also sacrifice it to make them hexproof and indestructible. Really insane ability on this backside. And as we just mentioned, Dusk Legion wants counters. So this will draw you cards off of that if you have that on the board. But really cool. All right, Invasion of Theros. This one is a tutor type effect, which searches for an aura god or demigod card. I think that might be the first time we've seen this happen for gods or demigods. Very interesting. Um, don't know if there's enough to make this work, but cool nonetheless. And the backside is my favorite god of Theros, Afara, and it benefits a lot from enchantments because it draws you cards and it will get indestructible and lifelink. So, if there's an enchantment type deck, this would be really cool in that deck. So maybe we'll see play. Next one, Knight Errant of Eos. Uh, this is a creature which is 5 mana for a 4-4 four, four with Convoke. If you Convoke stuff with it, then it gets uh, some advantage of drawing you some cards. So you do need to have a decent number of creatures, 2 or 3 mana, to get that Convoke effect off. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Next one, Marshal of Zelfir. Zelfir. Um, it's a Knight Lord, which is pretty good. Buffs your creatures, has a tap effect built into it too. Maybe we'll see Knights become a thing in the next set. Not sure, but uh, yeah, there's a, this is a good indicator of that. All right, Norn's Inquisitor, another Knight, but this one doesn't synergize that well with the previous card. Uh, it actually synergizes with Incubate, so it gives you an Incubate too, and whenever you flip it, then this guy gets a counter. So if you have a lot of Incubate stuff like the Elish Norn in your deck, then potentially this could grow bigger and bigger. So very solid card in the right deck. All right, and then Sunfall is a 5-mana sweeper. Maybe this is the best sweeper ever. Uh, it exiles everything, and it gives you a big creature. So yeah, very cool. And lastly, Surge of Salvation. This is 1-mana. It's a protection spell. It's hexproof on you and your permanents. Uh, which is very strong, was normally on a 2-mana green spell called Baroque Intervention. Uh, it doesn't have Indestructible, but it does have Protection from Red or Black. So a little bit of a trade-off, but it's 1-mana. All right, that is all the really cool white cards from the set. I think we made it in 5 minutes, just barely. Um, let me know what you think about these cards, what you're looking forward to, and we'll get into the other colors later uh, this week. 
next week, five new brews and uh, the early access event will be the week after that. So look forward to all of that. All right. See ya.